Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Anwar speaking, your Arabic teacher from talkarabictoday.com. For those who are new to the channel, my goal is to help you learn Arabic through methods which are simple, powerful, and entertaining. We use things like movies, TV shows, books, newspapers as a basis to learn the language. And my job is just to help you understand all the words and sentences that exist in these materials. And also answer your questions in the comments if things are still not clear. So don't hesitate to write me in the comments or curse me, of course, if I suck at my job. In today's lesson, you are going to learn more than 50 Arabic words just by watching a small conversation between a man and his mom, his mother. The conversation or the clip is taken from the Arabic TV show Al Imam Ibn Hanbal. And if you remember, I already used this TV show in a previous lesson. So if you are interested to watch it again, I will leave the link in the description. As always, we are going to see the conversation first and then I will explain everything for you. Let's get started. لما تسنا ضل هكذا يا أمي مللت هذه الحياة من بعمري تزوج وأصبح آباء كبرت وأصبحت تفكر بالزواج أيضا لو أنني بحث عن عمل الأقتات منه أليس أفضل من حياة اللصوص هذه وماذا تعرف غير السرقة أم أنك خجل من صنعة أبيك أمة السرقة ليست صنعة our first sentence is the question He is talking to his mom. He said It means how long do we have to stay like this? And we use this question when we are upset about a particular situation and we want to improve it. Nadal is the verb and it means we stay. So you, me, my dad, my family, we stay like this. That's why we said Nadal. And of course, it will change its form depending on the noun. So since the noun is me, the mom and the father, we used Nadal. Actually, we used Sanadal. Sa, it refers to the future, okay? We will stay like this. For example, if your mom always gives you, for example, let's say, potato for lunch. Every day she gives you potato. You, will say, you would say to her, For how long do we have to stay eating potato like this? Okay, so remember this question. Whenever you are upset about a particular situation and you want to improve it, you ask this question. كبرت وأصبحت تفكر بالزواج. What does it mean كبرت? For example, when I tell you كبرت, it means you have grew up and became a man. You don't need your parents anymore. Okay? That's why the mom said كبرت وأصبحت تفكر في الزواج. As a way, she is surprised. Wow, my son now is a grown up and he is thinking about marriage. Which is actually not true. He is just a thief. A thief. A thief is called in Arabic Sariq or Lis or a Sariq Alis. And the plural of Alis is Allosos. Allosos, which is what we used in the video. However, a Sariqa is the noun, is the stealing. The stealing is a Sariqa. So both the words have almost the same meaning. Not almost, they have the same meaning, okay? Less sariq, a thief, a sariqa is the stealing. In the video we said, لو أنني بحثت عن عمل أقتات منه أليس أفضل من حياة اللصوص هذه? And his mom replied back, وماذا تعرف غير السرقة? Here the son wants to get a job, a real one, and stop stealing people. However, his mom told him, what do you know? You know nothing but stealing. Our final word is sanna. Sanna. Sanna is also called hirfa. Okay, so we have sanna and hirfa. And it means a craft. 
It's an activity involving skill making things by hand. For example, carpentry, which is an activity to create things using wood, is called sana. Okay, carpentry is sana. So here the mom is considering stealing sana, a craft, a profession, which is actually not true. And the son is confirming that a sariqa to laysat sana. A sariqa laysat sana. Now I am going to read the whole conversation again, giving you the meaning of every word and sentence. إلى متى سنظل هكذا يا أمي؟ بللت هذه الحياة من بعمري تزوج وأصبح آباء كبرت وأصبحت تفكر بالزواج أيضا لو أنني بحثت عن عمل أقتات منه أليس أفضل من حياة اللصوص هذه؟ وماذا تعرف غير السرقة؟ أم أنك خجل من صنعة أبيك؟ أماه السرقة ليست صنعة ليست صنعة وهذا المكان ليس لي That is all for today's lesson Listen and repeat the video again and again until you understand every words being said in this material Then relax and only listen to the conversation to the raw conversation only in Arabic for a couple of days and this will help you understand and not forget the new words that you have learned and eventually will be able to use them easily and naturally in your conversations. Like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And don't forget to turn on that notification button to get our future lessons the second I upload them. Thanks for watching and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson.